Tim here again from High on Cheap Tech. Got a little bit of sleep, got a razor over my face, and feeling a little better this afternoon. Not much, but a little. Now, three days ago, I did a video about those super fast wireless high speed chargers, and that will be linked in the description below, and it basically says, don't do that. I know there's a lot of guys that are just like, well, you know, but they're all tech reviewers. Don't think for a minute that to them, these are just throwaway products. They are. So, what we're gonna do is on, uh, I'll show you the parameters here. Uh, first, we're going to charge all two of the phones involved, which are the Alcatel 7 here and the uh, new G3. Using your basic, uh, it's going to simulate doing it under the wireless charger without me having to remove the magic bag from there. Of my Mi A2 here. Uh, 5 volts, 1 amp. Out of my Zotac uh, mini PC through my TP Link uh, USB hub. So each one is going to get 10 minutes of charging. <coughs> <coughs> so at the beginning of each segment, You'll see what the current temperature of the phone is. It should be. I've, I've drained these down to under 40%, so there's no chance of them winding back like they do at the near the end of their charge. Uh, so, oh, I'm in the eye here. Uh, okay. And our charger of choice is something kind of in between, it won't damage them. This is the Alcatel 7 charger. It's a fast charger, wireless G2, which is 5 volts, 2 amps, or 9 volts at 1.67 amps, which is where the fast charger. I've used this on both of these phones. Never even thought about the heat thing until I started thinking about it. And don't do that, like it says in the previous video. Don't use those super high speed chargers. So the first thing we're gonna do is do 10 minutes on each phone of charging at five volts and one at one amp. I'll show you the current temperature on the phone. We'll let them charge for 10 minutes and see what happens. I will one out. Same thing I get out of my Senio charger when I charge this phone on the uh, Magic Tag. And uh, life is good when we do that. So let's do the intro and then we'll get to segment one. And uh, we'll uh, see how all this works out. All right, folks, I'm back. Our first victim here is going to be the uh, Alcatel 7 charging on USB. See, at uh, 5 volts and 1 amp. Current temperature is, let's check that, 28.1 degrees C. Pretty low. Not so bad at all. So, let's plug her in right now and start charging. And off to the races we go it's 3 32 p.m and we'll get back to you 
in segment two. That's really, I don't know, what we're going to play. Hold on. That might be six segments here. I don't know. We'll see. She's charging right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you turn it off. I don't get anything, but it is charging, trust me. Right now. But old one amp. So I'll be back in a moment. So here we are back. Uh we've barely gone up at all. We're at uh twenty nine point eight degrees C after ten minutes. We'll let her cool back down. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and plug in our friend here, the new G3. Check the temperatures as of now. We're at 27 degrees C currently. I don't see that right now, but we are. Uh, so we're plugging her into 5 volts at 1 amp. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's going to be killer. Turn off the screen, let her charge. It, that time is now 346. Oh, we'll be back when we're back. And in the meantime, Somebody always got to send a, a message when you least expect it. But that's okay. Happens all the time. So, screens off on the uh, new G3. And we'll let this thing cool back down. We'll see how that works out. And then we're four rid of the big charger. Well, the past the charger and give it 10 or 15 minutes of abuse of power. We'll see. Be right back. So five volts, one amp on the uh, new mobile. Yeah, we've gone up about a degree. We're at 28C, and we actually let it run an extra four minutes. No harm, no foul there to your battery. So we're going to let that one cool back down. And uh, we'll be back with the results from the fast charger on both of these devices. Okay, folks, uh, we've uh, let the Alcatel 7 cool down. We got 28.5C. Now, hopefully that will focus properly for you. Hard to see that. Pretty tiny text, and I'll have my glasses on. We're going to get her plugged into the fast charger and come back in about 15 minutes. All right, so uh, what we've got here is uh, the uh, cool down, oh, damn it, uh, mobile G3. It's holding at 28 degrees C. We're going to get that one plugged in, and we're pulling out the other one right now. Uh, the... Uh, Alcatel 7 off the charger. I want to see how much higher temperatures got. Oh my god, he's smoking on camera. No, I'm not smoking. Be right back. Okay, folks, and here you have it in a nutshell. This is after about 15 minutes of charging. We're at 30. 
Well, we were at 37.5. It's dropping like a rock right now because it's no longer plugged in. But more current equals more heat. And if you're using one of those massive, you know, boot chargers, superchargers, you can multiply it on out. I can actually feel the warmth on the back of this phone around the camera area and the fingerprint area. Uh, there's number one. We'll be right back with the next one. The G3. Remember, it was a 28C. Plug it in now. All right, here I am back with the old G3 fresh off the charger. So about 39. You can see that. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, it's dropping, but it was 41 when I pulled it off the charger. That's uh, even hotter than the other phone got. Less room to dissipate heat. You can do the math, folks. You can do the math. Just imagine what a 18 month charger is going to do to your phone battery time. And that is your enemy. So if you found this useful at all, check out the description below. And I'll have some links in there to the phone we're filming on the Mi A2. And also, uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you with something tomorrow. I don't know what, but we'll come up with something.